let's start with the very basic concept of circuit what is circuit first of all circuit is a closed path having some different types of components through which current can be flown but obviously that circuit should be made of with conducting material that is conductors like copper can be used very frequently we use the copper conductors okay and different components which are treated as circuit components so circuit components can be classified into mainly two groups one is active components active components another one is passive components passive components so active components are those components which have the capability of generating voltage or power on the contrary the passive components are those components which cannot generate any voltage or power like if you consider a voltage source that is battery source simple battery source as an example so battery source has the capability to generate voltage similarly current source which can generate the current so this voltage source and current source will be considered as the active components and in case of passive components three mainly mainly three passive components are there which are very very frequently used in any kind of circuits or different types of circuits according to their application field these are like resistor inductor and capacitor the property of resistor is known as resistance the property of capacitor is the capacitance and the property of the inductor is the inductance okay So let's start with the active components which are like one is ideal voltage source ideal voltage source ideal voltage source should not have any kind of internal resistance that consider a source of v voltage is applied here in this circuit okay so this two terminal of the circuit is open right now so now thing is that if you apply say 5 volt we have given 5 volt here so what will be the voltage which will be exerted across the terminals same voltage that is 5 volt always it is 5 volt because circuit is open so we can that can be treated as open circuit voltage now if i apply any load Say R L. So consider it is a resistive load. That means this load is having only the resistance, not other capacitor or inductors. Okay. So in case of resistive load, now question will be coming that what is load? Load means actually why should we generate power? There must be some purpose. That means so that we can illuminate our room. So that we can. run different devices in our home or in different industrial sectors okay so that's why you require to generate the power okay so whenever that power will be consumed by that particular devices for this reason we have to pay to that corresponding companies who are generating that powers okay 
and the consumption of power that is due to some components some devices so these devices will be treated as load okay so here rl is such kind of device which is extremely resistive in nature no other capacitance and inductors are there okay so whenever v voltage will be applied here so obviously the voltage that is 5 volt we have given there so obviously the voltage across this resistor or load resistance will be 5 volt okay but if i apply another resistive part here that is r i which will be treated as internal resistance of the source okay so this resistance is in series with this voltage source let consider the volt the value of resistance is 1 ohm okay the current which is generated from this voltage source let consider it is 2 ampere now what will happen this 2 ampere current is passing through this internal resistance where there will be the voltage drop across this resistance that this drop will be v r i that is drop across the internal resistance of the source so that drop will be given by 2 into 1 that is 2 volt now what will be the voltage across this you have given 5 volt here so drop is there is 2 volt so rest of the voltage will be exerted across this rl that is 5 volt minus 2 volt which is actually 3 volt okay and when it is possible if we consider an internal resistance with this voltage source but if we neglect this voltage that means the source is not having any kind of internal resistance at that time the voltage what is applied in the circuit similar voltage will be exerted across this rl so whatever the value of rl rl may be 5 ohm rl may be 100 ohm rl may be say 1000 ohm or 1 kilo ohm whatever but irrespective of load condition the applied voltage will be same across that particular load whenever there will be no internal resistance with this voltage source so in that case we can consider that voltage source is the ideal voltage source so ideal voltage source is that particular voltage source which will not having any kind of internal resistance okay next come to the ideal current source ideal current source it's ideal current source if you consider a current source like this it is the symbol for current source where current is I and resistance is given with this current source actually current source will be represented with this current source symbol and an resistance in parallel with this current source so this is the technique how could we represent any current source so now in that case if load is connected say RL load RL so obviously at this node two parallel paths are there so current total current I which is generated from the current source that can be divided in different paths so one is I1 another one is I2 okay so this is the internal resistance R I which is parallel with this current source okay so now the possibilities is there possibility is there that current can be divided in two branches but if I increase 
the resistance of that particular branch that is the parallel branch or we can say that if the internal resistance of this current source is infinite level is an infinite level then what will happen if this impedance is in infinite level then no current will be flown through this path so whatever the current will be generated from this current source same exactly same current will be flown through this load resistance okay so the, now we can say that this i1 is exactly i okay that means irrespective of load condition the generated current is this is supplying same the current which is generated from this current source same current is supplying to the load okay so at that time we can consider this current source is an ideal current source that means then ideal and ideal current source is that particular current source which will have infinite resistance in parallel with that source okay